It's September 1940, strategic warfare. No modifiers, axis attack, axis dice, one. West, five, interesting. So this is a good thing for the West. Uh, CRT, one down five is AS2, strategic combat. Uh, results, where's that? Oh, right down here. AS, increase Germany fact, factory loss marker by one, decrease ally by one. They're both at one, so all we do is increase the axis by or the Germans by one. So on uh, national tracks, factory loss marker goes up to two for Germany, which will hamper them a little bit next turn. But for this turn, they still get their uh, 24, um, 24 production points and lent one to the Italians. Weather, incidentally, is automatically fair in all zones in September. Strategic movement for the axis. We remove the marker from the uh, unit that moved strategically last turn and place that back on the faction chart, faction card. Only in case we don't actually use it, and I'm not sure if we are going to. Yeah, probably. I can think of one thing to do. What we might want to do is move a an Axis Air unit up to um, up to Al uh, Alborg, so that we can then rebase it to Stavanger and influence get a, a, D a positive DRM on the next strategic um, combat role. Or we could use it to move the German infantry uh, to take to closer to Bergen or Trondheim uh, to take control of those cities. Or let's see, we could use it to get this Italian infantry unit over to either Tobruk or. Um, to, to deal with these French units. It'll be interesting to see what happens with uh, when France collapses to the North African troops. I might look that up now in the rules just to make um, it easier to make a decision about what to do with the strategic movement here. Well, the answer is that they are going to be repatriated to their uh, to uh, French North Africa. So they will not be combatants with Italy. They'll be a neutral country and they will uh, not be something that the Italians need to worry about. It, Italy will automatically get Tripoli back. Which suggests that for now, the what makes sense is for the Italian infantry unit to help address the problem with the British over in the, west, in the east. And they are... Um, within two, three, four, they're well within movement, um, regular movement and range of, of the, uh, of the British. So they will, the Italian unit won't use strategic movement. Now, another thing the Axis could do is use strategic movement to move air from France down to, um, down to help out with the situation in the Mediterranean. Anyway, lots of considerations. I'll pause this, make a decision, and inform you of it in a second. So I decided that Germany would move an air unit by strategic move up into northern Denmark in anticipation next turn of flying over to Stavanger.
rebasing there and adding a DRM, a strategic uh, warfare DRM. Just a quick peek at how the Germans collapsed France. Um, they first activated this unit, which took um, Leon, and then activated this unit, which was here, and attacked the French unit here, destroying it, and then moving, continuing its activation to move all the way to Marseille and take Marseille. So that was uh, a loss of four national will points for these two cities and a loss of one for losing the unit that was here. So a loss of five national will points and France was thereby conquered. So the French national will marker is placed on the conquered allied countries part of the Axis faction card and French all French units are removed from the game Next, the Free Forces um, marker is placed six turns on on the turn track, and the Partisans marker 18 turns on, as that's where they get placed, given that the East has not been invaded yet. Alsace-Lorraine is seated, so that marker moves down here. One German marker from the uh, unit from the conditional box goes to eliminated. German national will goes up by eight. Vichy France is created, and that means Vichy is a neutral country, and any Axis units inside Vichy France have to be repatriated. So that would be this German um, armor unit, this German infantry, and this German infantry and repatriated means they have to be re uh, placed in or adjacent to a friendly city in Germany. So the Germans have moved to the coast to take the coastal cities, moved uh, air unit and uh, armor unit down to Bordeaux in anticipation of some of these other infantry units joining them and invading Spain. Some of their units, some of their gar uh, garrison units uh, went to the uh, low country cities, coastal cities, for pr to protect against uh, an eventual invasion. We'll have to figure out what to do with these, uh, protect these ports as well. And uh, some of their units went east to prepare for um, action in that area. In Africa, the Italian unit um, that had landed in Benghazi went over to Tobruk and pushed this reduced strength or, in, or garrison strength um, British unit back. Oh, and I neglected to mention before when I was dealing with the um, conquest of France that the Axis also got a pro-Axis chit in the Diplomacy Cup and they also got a successful um, a political success event in any neutral country they chose hungary and made it so it's the operations phase for the western allies and this is not kind of a oddly interesting part of the game because it's like what what happens between the more pivotal campaigns of the conquest of France and um, and the uh, beginning of operations against the Soviets and historically um, this involved the Balkan campaign but in this rather ahistorical situation um, we have a couple of weird things. One is it took so long for the Axis to take France. Second is uh, due to the early Italian entry and early war with Britain, um, the British and the Italians are 
are engaged, well engaged around Tobruk and have been for a little while. And what else? The Spanish and being involved. Uh, so that's going to occupy the Germans. And it might dissuade them from from doing much of a Balkan campaign. On the other hand, not having to worry about allies landing in Yugoslavia might prompt at least an attack on Yugoslavia, maybe not full on into Greece, just because I anticipate time's going to run out and I'm going to have to have the Germans prepare for war with the Soviets. The Soviets having Finland, not to have to worry about Finland, is a bit of a significant thing. So with all that said, uh, I think one thing I think I need to do is, I mean, uh, an attempt by the Germans on Britain is not out of the question. Britain can't uh, denude the homeland of defense, so the uh, they're not going to leave. They're not going to take any of their land troops out of there. But one of the air units down to um, um, I've thought about Spain, but I don't think so. But uh, to help out here before the Italian air can get over there. I think that would be significant, and uh, yeah, so that's the plan, is to get uh, an air unit into the, the African campaign. Now the, um, well, there's, looks like it's set up actually, the, there's an air unit in this port, Southampton and a convoy so they'll leave the home fleet home because they're uh, I can probably get the convoy through without an escort and the uh, just need to worry about uh, a possible German invasion of the British Isles I can't at all risk taking the home fleet away all right so at a cost of, well, the eventual cost of a sortie here for the convoy, but I'll activate the convoy and activate the air unit with that. Just to indicate what I'm doing for naval transportation. Um, So that would be Southampton has to enter the C zone 10, 7, 16, that's 3, 17 is 4, 19 is 5, 22 is 6, 24 is 7, 25 is 8. And it will land in Alexandria. No, it won't. It can't, right? Because Alexandria already has two naval units in it. So, where can they land? Port Said, I guess. They'll land at Port Said. Yeah. Then the air unit will be able to rebase next turn, and it'll be able to rebase close enough to be able to be involved in the in the uh, at the front. So that's what's happening now. The question is, do the Italian air intercept in C Zone 22? I'd say yes, they do. All uh, right, so actually I calculate the DRM as 
minus three for the attacking Italian air and minus four for the convoy and I don't like what that does it's very very uh, likely that there would be no positive effect for the Italians that they'd be they wouldn't be able to interdict it so they're not going to bother and here they are in part state and here the air unit uh, rebased with its last sortie these two British units uh, activated and pushed this Italian unit back from this hex. Oh, and not only that, but it was a DD result, so it actually flipped it to uh, reduced strength. Other than some uh, replacement uh, points spent to, re to uh, upgrade or reduce some sorties on some units, the Germans built a couple of garrison units. The Italians built a reduced strength infantry unit. And in diplomacy, the Soviets pulled a no event. So we're at the end of this 